It is a troubling reality, but many serial killers go undetected. What looks like very sporadic individual killings will only later be linked together and tied together because you're talking about multi-jurisdictions. Former FBI agent Tyrone Powers says real serial killers don't behave like the methodical murderers depicted on the following. In television, they have to quickly set the pattern for the serial killer. In reality, that pattern won't be set maybe until they've killed the number of people where detectives begin to tie them together across jurisdictional lines. What makes real serial killers even more elusive is the murky trail they leave behind. Clues in hundreds of unsolved cases, which many times aren't tied together. A disturbingly large number of serial victims died from causes unknown. Journalist Tom Hargrove was determined to see if he could unearth evidence of serial killers who had slipped between the cracks. We wanted to study uh, the rate at which murders go unsolved. Using an algorithm, Hargrove compared the killings of Gary Ridgway, the so-called Green River Killer, who murdered 49 women in Washington state, to a national database of unsolved cases, an analysis that revealed a stunning discovery. We have hundreds of highly suspicious clusters. Dozens of pattern killings in cities across the country, deaths which could be the work of serial killers but have yet to be noticed by investigators. And we picked 10 large clusters and contacted local police. In eight of those 10 cases, police confirmed that yes, those were serial killings. In two of those, police opened new investigations. Its work, Hargrove says, is still ongoing that continues to yield troubling results. Serial killing is often missed, probably more missed than discovered.